Welcome to Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's a capital city and a capital of culture. It's one of the oldest cities in North America, and though it has had a lot happen over the centuries, there is still so much to do. There is no shortage of ways to spend your time here, and in this video I'm going to show you the best things to do in Santa Fe. First up, exploring Santa Fe's history. Buildings here are all constructed in the traditional adobe style with elements like Puebloan ladders and gas lamps to light your way. Santa Fe's central plaza is the epicenter of activity. Stroll around it to discover shops and restaurants or strike out in any direction for historic buildings and sites. In addition to being among the oldest cities in the U.S., Santa Fe is home to some old buildings too. Be sure to visit the San Miguel Chapel, originally constructed in 1610. Major portions of the chapel have been destroyed, rebuilt, and restored over the centuries. Close by, visit the oldest house in the U.S., where there's evidence of a house dating back to 1200. The Palace of the Governor dates back to 1610, with older evidence beneath the floorboards. Visiting the small museum gives you a peek back in time, and an outdoor market of Native American craftspeople lines the side facing the plaza. Don't expect to find a big dome here. Even the New Mexico State Capitol is Santa Fe-style architecture. You can visit the Capitol most weekdays during business hours. If you're visiting outside those times, or even after walking around inside, be sure to admire the public art on display around the Capitol grounds. Santa Fe is home to several incredible museums. The New Mexico History Museum is a must if you want a complete picture of this land through the millennia. The New Mexico Museum of Art features rotating exhibits to highlight the beauty of the Southwest and the many forms of art it has inspired. Nearby, the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum is essential for all fans of her work. While sampling Santa Fe's art scene, be sure to keep your eyes peeled for murals and sculptures all over town. The Rail Yards Arts District is a great place to find eye-popping murals and snap a selfie if you find one you like. I'm here at the Santa Fe Farmer's Market, which happens every Saturday all year long. As you can see, I'm currently outside in the sun, but during winter months, people head indoors. <laughs> At the farmer's market, you can find fresh flowers, handmade products, and fresh produce and ingredients. There are also arts markets that pop up around town offering handcrafted souvenirs. Santa Fe is home to over 250 art galleries, and over 100 of them are on a single street. Even if you're not looking to invest, it's fun to window shop in galleries around the plaza and along Canyon Road. If you love to explore the great outdoors, hiking up to Cross of the Martyrs is a great urban hike, with sweeping views of the northern Rio Grande Valley and all of Santa Fe. The Santa Fe River also runs through town, and there's a lovely sidewalk that follows this green belt as it meanders south of downtown. If conventional museums and art aren't your style, head to the original Meow Wolf location in Santa Fe. You'll need a timed ticket reservation to attend this popular attraction, which also has outposts in Las Vegas and Denver. Santa Fe's Meow Wolf, called The House of Eternal Return, is an interactive mystery with astonishingly colorful rooms and art in countless styles. Out at Meow Wolf, don't miss out on the chance to start exploring Santa Fe's Margarita Trail. The cotton candy-topped Meow Garita is a good place to start, and you can find delicious original margaritas at other restaurants across the city. If you're up for a really adventurous choice, head to Del Charo for their green chili-infused margarita. Speaking of green chilies, New Mexico is known for them, and Santa Fe is a place to try them. You can find green chilies in foods and drinks across the city, from things you might expect like cheeseburgers and soups to more unusual dishes like pizza. If you still have an appetite, there's one more must-try food in Santa Fe. Located on the plaza, Five and Dime General Store is home to the original Frito Pie. Head straight to the back to the snack bar for a bag of spicy chili, crunchy Fritos, and a healthy topping of cheese. After all that, you might need to relax. Located 20 minutes outside Santa Fe, Ojo Spa Resort taps into natural mineral springs. Take a swim in the saltwater pool, release tension in the hot water while pinions sway overhead, or take a meditative stroll around the grounds before you enjoying lunch or dinner at their on-site restaurant. In Santa Fe, sunset means it's time to ride the rails. At times throughout the year, the Sky Wheel Ride sets out on its stargazer route, where you'll ride a historic train car out of Santa Fe for a night of stargazing. There are also daytime rail tours if Stargazer isn't running during your visit. To fit in all of these amazing things to do in Santa Fe, you're going to need more than one day here. Luckily, there are some great accommodation options. I stayed at the Hotel Chamayo with all kinds of historic and authentic touches. Other similar properties include the Lux Inn and Spa Loretto or the Flower Adorned Inn of the Governors. Ojo Resort also has overnight accommodations if you want to spend more time relaxing there. 
Santa Fe has something for everyone. Whether you're looking for arts, culture, food, or just something completely different, you can find it in this part of northern New Mexico. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow along for new videos about New Mexico and other western U.S. destinations coming soon. Thanks for watching and be sure to ask any Santa Fe questions in the comments below.